In the final part of our special series, the Food Truck 411, tonight SNN's Grant Boxleitner takes a look at how finding the right location for a food truck is a recipe for success, something both the truck owners and the customers are all looking for. Food truck owners like Moon Doggy's Walt Rozier say the key to connecting with customers is finding just the right location and offering food that stands out. It's a family recipe. The corn batter is uh, we 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 make it at home. It's uh, it's not store bought, hand dipped corn dogs, and our, our signature Moon Doggy is uh, cheese and hot dog shish kebab style on a skewer. Piled high owner Allison Free touts that she's the first food truck to be permitted on Main Street in downtown Sarasota, setting up right near the intersection of Osprey Avenue. If you stay focused in, in one good location long enough, I think that people will find you, um, and that's what we're trying to do here. A few blocks away, Baja Boys Grill owner Michelle Jett says she's developing a solid customer base at the food truck picnic along US 301 near Ringling Boulevard. It's a little bit more personal. We know everybody by first name basis. You know, I ask about their soccer games, the kids' baseball games. Ada's Grill sets up in Manatee County at a gas station along US 41 and 53rd Avenue. It's hard to, to keep myself moving around because it's to keep uh, people coming on and off if they repeat and they come back. But the reality for most food trucks in Manatee, Sarasota and Charlotte counties is being on the run from day to day. The Charlotte County based ravenous rhino uses social media to connect with customers, a technique Jet says is a must. It's huge. Social media today is everything. We post on Facebook at night before we're out where we're going to be. And events like this one in Payne Park allow food trucks to set up right alongside each other, a situation that many food truck owners welcome. I think we're all in this together. Um, I don't consider anybody competition. I'd rather be out here with more food trucks. Suncoast Food Trucks finds businesses and parking lots where members can park and sell. Traveling kitchen owner Jimmy Shelton, though, says newcomers to the business should have reasonable expectations no matter where they are. If you think you're going to go out and make seven or $800 a day, it's not going to happen. Um, you know, you got to be realistic of what you're going to have. Set yourself a budget. Reporting in Southwest Florida, Grant Boxleitner, SNN Local News. And you can see any part of the Food Trucks 411 series that you may have missed on our Facebook page. Several food trucks, by the way, are scheduled to be at the Twin Lakes Park on uh, December 1st from noon to 5. That is for the Jingle Paws Jubilee.